Jack? Mike? Oh, I probably shouldn't. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Welcome to Gameiversary, where once a month we talk about a game, getting an anniversary. Getting an anniversary? Celebrating, getting... It's an anniversary! For May, we are talking about Terraria! Terraria, Terraria, whatever you want to call it. So, this is actually quite the complex history we got going here. because got beefy history. It's a very beefy history because it, it had ongoing development. And actually, the last update came out like a few weeks ago. It's the Action Adventure Sandbox, created by ReLogic for the Microsoft Windows on May 16th, 2011. And over 35 million copies were sold by the end of 2020. Wow. Nice. Ooh. Started development in January 2011, built on the Microsoft XNA framework, written in C Sharp. Yeah, boy! Whoa, wait, that was wait. too much energy. <laughs> I just get really excited over C Sharp. I don't know why. I guess so. <laughs> Do you know it? Yeah, yes. yeah. That's oh. what I code in. Nice. And um, because fuck JavaScript. <laughs> you know what? Java That's is fair. very unstable. Yeah. I second this. And fun fact, Spike Chunsoft localized PS the PS3 Japan version, including exclusive items like a Monokuma vanity oh. costume. What? Oh. <laughs> so, so Monokuma's canon in Terraria lore? Yes. Yeah. That's There's, so is there weird. lore? Yes. There's lore to... Okay. The vanity costumes don't play into it, but there okay. is lore. Wait. There's Mario costumes in it. Yes. In Terraria, right? Yes. Oh, no. And there's Monokuma. <gasps> Monokuma could be in Smash now! I know we were talking about this earlier as we were going through history with the Monokuma vanity set. I want to also mention, I like how many references to just 16-bit there are all over this game. Yeah. Yeah, there's a creeper costume. Well, that's not 16-bit. That's oh, just indie. Still. Yeah. Well, the references in general, there's a lot. Yeah. But... I, I've noticed mostly it's like SNES kind of era. Oh, like which is, the Zappinator. Yeah. A magic weapon that does way too much damage. Sold by the Traveling Merchant. Very rare chance. But uh, there, there's a lot of references to a lot of that era in gaming. Obviously, you got the Mario costumes. The basic whip that you get from Fox Lady. Zoologist. Uh, the furries? Yeah. Yeah, the furries. There, There's a furry. You the get the whip from Zoologist. the furry, don't ask. The description is Die Monster, obviously a reference to uh, the Castlevania series. This game really loves that era of video games. And it shows I... in its art style and in its references and it... And in its gameplay, too. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it was heavily inspired by some of that stuff, mm -hmm. which is really cool. I like some of the references in general, too. Like, uh, I, I know it wasn't, I don't think it was originally intended to be a reference, but they, I think later they said, like, ah, I guess this could be a reference or something to JoJo, the one of the... Oh, the Stardust Guardian? Yeah, the Stardust Guardian. And then they, when they changed its, it, they, how they it reworked. reworked it to make it into a JoJo reference. Yes. Uh, want some trivia? I got some trivia. Ooh, yeah. Oh, Show yeah. us some trivia. Terraria had a major boost in sales when it was mentioned in a Minecraft dev blog. This major boost was so much, it surpassed Portal 2 in sales for several days. Wow. wow. That's, that's yeah, impressive. That's insane. And we did Portal 2 last month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh, speaking yeah. of, you know how Minecraft has those splash texts? Yeah. One of them is also Try Terraria. The window title will be one of those subtexts, and one of them is also Try Minecraft. That's, That's awesome. Good. I like that. I kind of wish Terraria was as popular as Minecraft. Yeah. Just because you, you could tell there's a lot of love in this oh, game, too. Yeah. One of the last items you could get is a portal gun. Really? That functions almost exactly like portal. That's cool. Except for you could put it on any surface except for anti-portal blocks, which are just the black walls in portal. Oh, uh, yeah. That you could buy from, I think, the traveling merchant after you receive the portal gun. Hmm. All right. 
Next fun fact, you ready for this one? Lay it down on the land. All right. The different backgrounds of the Celestial Tower fights, if you order it in a certain way, they reveal the moon getting closer to the world's surface. Oh. This is because the moon was initially going to be a boss that used the theme yeah. of the towers. Like Majora's Mask sort of. Probably. Was it, it was probably oh. 100% Majora's Mask reference. That would be so I cool. I remember talk, them talking about making the moon a boss before 1.3 dropped. I wonder why they cut it. Was it... Maybe copyright because Majora's Mask and Nintendo yeah, being but you strict. Can't, you can't copyright an idea. Yeah. As yeah. long as it was different enough. Yeah. I think it was a little hard to do given how Terraria is structured. Yeah. Like, tell, warping you to a whole other, like, basically world just for a boss fight. Yeah, probably. Yeah. They probably. probably scrapped it in favor of a more standard boss. Uh, my next fun fact. The guy before 1.2 had broken AI. He would walk back and forth opening every single door he encountered. Oh. That so despite purpose. <laughs> <laughs> this is my last little trivia. During the wait for 1.2, there was a contest held for people to compose Terraria themed music. Ooh. Uh, right. The first, second, and third place winner was decided, and the winners got their prizes. They were supposed to have their remixes put into the game as music boxes. This never happened. Aww. And the contest has become kind of buried in the sands of time. Probably because it was hosted on Terraria Online. However... There was a contest that was officially held and was officially put into the game as the winners. This is the Terraria Journeys and Vanity Contest. Right. Mm. So I do kind of like the looks of some of those. Yeah, there, there was a vanity contest where you make your own vanity outfit and the top three winners would have vanity outfits going into 1.4. Neat. Um, the top three were chosen and... And a fourth bonus meme. Bonus meme. Bonus meme. Bonus meme. Yes. Bonus, meme. Yes. bonus. Bonus costume. There are four community-made vanity outfits in Terraria 1.4, and all of them can be crafted in pre-hard mode. What are they? Oh, vanity costumes are just armor sets that have no like real purpose except for to change your character's look. So purely aesthetic yes yeah. like you have your normal armor slot and then you have your like costume armor slot and you can put them in the costume yes. and so you can still have your normal armor on but it just looks different doesn't xenoblade have that yeah most most modern rpgs that have mm. different styled armors now have it which is really nice just because everyone complains about like oh the best armor in the game is probably also the shittiest looking armor in the game everyone needs but i want to look pretty aesthetic yeah. I mean, it, when it's so easy to look pretty, then why not? Yeah, why not? Why, after all, why not? Why shouldn't I put on the cat ears? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, I can't really find one of all of them together, so... Just describe them. I'll just go by... Like, oh. quick description. How the hell do you want me to describe this? All right. This one, you got, it basically looks like a... Let me um, see. Dangerous Mag Magus Bride. Yeah, something like that. What? It looks like well, Elias. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll just have these uh, saved, so... We can put them in the, the video, video, video version. The video version will here. receive these Bam. images. Boom. Boom. Pow. Pow. Editing. Wow. Um, Kaboom. Kapow. Here's uh, my favorite, the Capricorn set. This is the oh. only one that basically has two leggings that you could interchange. One with oh. the mer tail, one with normal feet. And you change it by right-clicking the leggings. Uh, this one is kind of a fan favorite, the Floret Protector. Yeah, it's like those characters who are like Ooh. people who are fish, but they have like a body and like a, their head is a fish tank. Like oh, the... Yeah. I don't remember his name, but one of the guys from the Umbrella Academy think so. is exactly like that. That yeah. guy, one of the main villains of Mastermind. Yeah, yes. except instead Megamind. of being a fish, Megamind. 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 Yeah. Megamind. Megamind is the wandering Ronin. It's basically just traveling samurai kind of oh, thing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, man. I can't find a, the full art of this one, but I found the sprite. Okay. I didn't even find the name of it either. Oh. Oh. Necromancer! Ha! Basically. It kind of looks like a plague doctor with like. Plague doctor, antlers. necromancer. Yeah. Yeah. Necro doctor? Necro doctor. 
Uh, Go doctor. Yeah, I, I had that exact. Plague dancer? <laughs> so those are the four vanity sets that were um, added into 1.4 as the contest. Okay, anyway. Oh, thanks, thanks, James, for asking what the pictures were for, for our podcast <laughs> oh, well, that we are currently no. doing. Thanks, James. Let's all bash James right now. Yeah. Oh, come, come, on, James. James. Come, on, James. come on, James. Come on, Do you even listen to our show? He probably does. I think he he's like does. the first view we always get. Yeah. You know what? I agree with that. Yeah. Thanks, he's, James. He'll be the first to know. <laughs> he'll be the first to know. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you want to go over how we play this stupid game, what yeah. is Terraria? Um, it's a action adventure sandbox. Yeah, action adventure sandbox. That's a lot of words. It's a. I don't want to call it a two D platformer, but it wouldn't be horribly inaccurate. I mean, <laughs> like a two D sandbox platform. There's platform, so it's a it's platformer. A okay. Very Minecraft, but two D, and then like. So many, so much more stuff. Yeah, there's, like, there's more stuff. There's yeah, there's like a thousand items. You said, maybe Probably more. Probably more. Mm, I I think yeah. there's more. I should. I guess we should first talk about the classes as well. There's classes like D&D yes. classes. Um, there are four main classes. What? Yeah. There's I melee, ranger, mage, and summoner. Yes. Mm. Okay. I feel like a lot of the game is. Well, like, build up your base, put all of the things that you want there, and then go explore to find new items that you need to progress. And then fight a gatekeeping boss that gets the next difficulty of stuff. Yeah. And I feel like one one of the nice things about Terraria, it's one of those games that's a little more open-ended, because yeah. if you really want to, you can... Just with your starting gear, just with all of your copper weapons, you can go and fight the first boss, and through a long time, and a lot of trial and error, you can beat the first boss without getting, like, much. Because it's all based around, like, how much damage they do to you. So, it, it's kind of like, I guess a more recent example of a game doing this is how Breath of the Wild sets up your objective. Yeah. Uh, that, but a lot harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you basically you do the tutorial. You know how to play the game. Whoopee. Okay, next objective: beat the game. Again, if you really wanted to, you could spend hours of your life um, killing Moon Lord with a copper short sword. You can. People have done it. Yeah, it literal hours. I think it has has taken people like because days. he has like thirty six million health, and copper what? short sword does like one damage to it. So how how many health? Thirty six million. 36 million. Is that the actual no. statistic? <laughs> no, it's not. I, I okay. was about to say, like, whoa, that's a <laughs> lot of health. Are you sure about that? But, like, like, game, you have so much DPS that... Yeah. yeah. His health bar isn't... In... It's, it's big, but it's not, like, astronomically big. There's pre-hard mode and then hard mode. Those are the two main states. Yes. Um, and pre-hard mode. I feel like you only feel powerful against everything late pre-hard mode and then once you beat the wall of flesh it goes to hard mode and then you're back to feeling like really weak because they add a ton of enemies oh man and they're all really powerful and, and everything else enemies gets... are spiked in difficulty yeah mm. um and so you're back it's like it's almost like you're back to the beginning of the game in terms of feel like oh everything okay. can kill me so do do you think how many players do you think like got Terraria to see like what the hype's about played it before getting to pre hard mode because they didn't know about the wall of flesh and went you know this game's kind of easy and boring and like <sighs> they don't that, know anything about I, after hard mode that is I sad like... but true I could look at the percentage of people who have the wall of flesh achievement. Only forty point nine percent of people have beat the Wall of Ooh. Flesh. So that means half. So less of a... than half. Yeah. But then again, Steam achievements got added later. I think one point mm. three. Okay. Yeah, but still, that means half of players after one point three don't have the achievement no, for yeah. beating the boss to make you go into basically and the real meat of the this game. This confuses yeah. me. Forty point nine percent of players beat the Wall of Flesh. But only forty point seven percent of players have entered hard mode. 
Those two are linked to the same event. Okay. Well, I know that the Beating. achievements are pretty glitchy for if you played uh, the game before achievements, because I yeah. know I I haven't played the game in years, and mm. I booted it up t- for this but, podcast, can... and it gave me random achievements that were all out of order. Yeah. Uh, Here, here's the also a thing. Only 40.9% of people have crafted their first workbench. What? <laughs> what? Wait, so, so are you saying that, that a majority of people haven't even played the haven't game? Haven't even started the game well i I think that links back to what i was saying of the achievements are a little glitchy if you've played it before but haven't played it in a while before uh after achievements because i did not have that achievement but i had the achievement for like killing a boss oh okay i'm also 71.3 percent of people have uh built an npc house Oh. Which you would have to have a crafting table to do so. Yeah. So, okay. so according to that, more people have the achievement for making a house the than building. people that have made a crafting bench. Yes. It seems like if you like Minecraft, but wish, man, I wish there were more bosses and like monster yeah. types in this. I wish it was more focused on combat. Then play Terraria, yeah. please. Yeah. You would love Terraria. Yeah. It might be a little... You might you might need the wiki occasionally. Yeah. I Actually, mean, a lot. I mean, who played Minecraft first and went, yeah, I don't need the wiki. Yeah. Especially I've... before those crafting recipe things Yes, were before added. the crafting oh recipes. Gosh. I still it's don't use God those because I'm used to, used, <laughs> used to looking things up. Yeah, I, I've legit, before, even though the crafting recipes are now, like, in the game... I've gone to the wiki and looked up how to craft it's, it, even it's though it's already there. Ingrained yeah. into yeah. you. <laughs> All right. Well, what do we rate this game out of five? Five. Seven. Yeah, five. Wait. Seven out of five. Wait. Yeah. Hmm. Seven, if, if you could. Yes. It, it is my favorite game of all, basically all time. I mean, yeah. didn't we talk about in a previous episode? I you think... had like six hundred hours no, or I, something. No, I, I mentioned that right after we ended recording. I have 1,746 hours on record. Hold on, did you just say 1,746? I would say 4 out of 5 because I just haven't played it enough and it's been so long. You don't, you, you're not confident enough to give it Yeah. playthrough? I'm not doing a terrarium. You know how many <laughs> other games I gotta play? I've been holding off on one of my favorite franchises just because I've got so many in my backlog. I want to play Monster Hunter Rise. You know how many recommended videos of that game I get? We, we still have <laughs> to finish Danganronpa. <laughs> but Terraria. I've never played the game, but I've watched some hmm. gameplay of it. It looks really interesting. I don't. I honestly don't know why I haven't played it. I think it's just I'm intimidated by it. It is really it big. It seems very difficult. There, there is a big learning curve. Yeah. Like, I play Minecraft only on Peaceful. <laughs> okay, Because fair. I specifically don't enjoy fighting monsters. Then you might not enjoy Terraria. <laughs> but anyway, I give it, like, a four. Anyway. Any last things to say? Terraria's good game. Good. Play it. A good, good game. Good game. We good. end the podcast here. Yes. Wait, did we introduce ourselves at the start? No, no we, we never no, we did, but just cut no. it anyway. <laughs>